You only did one album with them. You didn't, didn't, at didn't that your, point, your fifth I was, album comes out. I was, t- you know what? At this point, I wanted to quit. I w- I wanted to stop doing music. Really? Yeah. After that, something something that you have been doing literally yeah. since six years old. Yeah. After the that business. album, you wanted to quit music. Yeah. The business. The business made me not want to do it no more. I hated the business aspect and how and how that affected my career when I ain't even making none of these decisions. I ain't I ain't the one doing none of this shit. But here it is affecting my career, affecting me, hurting me. And I ain't doing none of this shit. I ain't the one making the business decisions to make it fuck up. I got tired. Mm-hmm. And I just didn't want to deal with that no more. So I was like, I'm, a, I'm just going to chill out, take some personal time. And I actually, um, me and Chris spoke and I told him that. This is how I got off Disturbing the Peace. I, I kind of told Chris I didn't want to be on, I didn't want to be on, be on no more. I was just like, I'm, I'm kind of tired. I'm, and this is not, this is not a, a, a stab at disturbing the peace. This has nothing to do with disturbing the peace as a whole. This is a personal decision. I'm just tired. I want to get away from this. And, and we talked about that. And I ended up getting off. And um, yeah, and that happened. And so. Yeah, it, it, it seems like musically, that's where it all took a turn, right? You know, I mean, obviously, little things have been happening throughout your career, but th- that lightning in a bottle that you captured, it-, it was never recaptured. You 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 have a fifth album that comes out, um, success and failure. It didn't do as well as your previous four albums. Musically, you just wasn't able to catch that lightning in a bottle that you did back in the days. Where are you at mentally at this point? I know you said right after the third album, you really just want, the fourth album, you just wanted to walk away from music. Mm-hmm. You yeah. came back for, for a fifth. It didn't go as planned. Are you really now like, yo, I, I don't even want to do, like, I, I made the wrong decision even coming and doing this fifth album. But I got to tell you what that fifth album was about. So that fifth album, all of those songs on success and failure, that was a mixtape. I was rapping over other artists' beats. I was about to release that for free. I was rapping over other art. All those songs are songs of me rapping on other artists' beats. Fon- Universal Fontana got in touch with me about doing a project. So basically what I did for those songs of me rapping over other people's beats, which I just freestyled a lot of them, I sold for about $50,000. That's what success and failure is. They had some new tracks remade and they got a couple artists on on the tracks. So for me, I didn't care really much what it did. For me, I just grabbed a little 50,000. That was a mixtape. If you know me, I make music like this. I make so much music, it's ridiculous. That was a mixtape. And half of them were freestyled songs. So I said, sure, here, take it. Give me the 50,000, take that. Give me some points. Voila. And that's success and failure. (laughs) Got you. Okay, um, didn't know that. 